What am I promising to the audience right now? That I'm gonna be in that tar pit in 24 hours time. We got two non-racists in the crowd. So I'm here as the pussy shadow. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, being an asshole, this makes you feel good. Don't an asshole. stay I'm not six feet you. away. I am in the Eagle Rock neighborhood of Los Angeles. Last time I was here, fall of 2018, for a video called Shotgun This Beer. So you're gonna put this up to your mouth. Right when you have it up to your mouth, you're gonna crack this, and then you're gonna start chugging. Here we go, chug, 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 chug. There we go, so we're almost done. No, no, don't give up on me now. Uh, I think it's no secret. I've grown a lot as a YouTuber since then. Looking back on that video, it seems childish and frivolous. So today, with the help of my security guard, Kahuna, we're gonna be getting people to drink straight whiskey. Hi, sir. You offer massages? If you're the man to jerk me off, it's not gonna be ideal, but I'll still lay down for it. Oh. Stealthy operation. People are getting massaged. I'm your boss right now. And your boss is giving you a direct order. It's Jack Daniels. What's your name, man? My name Juan. Juan? I'm gonna write you a message right now because I know it's a time of utmost secrecy. It says, drink the fucking Jack. Okay. You're too tense, Juan. If a high class lady comes in here from the Brentwood part of Los Angeles, she's gonna turn away. <laughs> no, no, it's not strong. We'll dilute it, we'll dilute it. What if I dilute it with a little bit of that fish tank water? Juan? Thank you, Kahuna. That looks like an herbal tea, if I've ever seen one. Something that would be right at home in a reputable massage place such as this. No, I can drink. Yeah, you're gonna drink that one. No, I can drink. No, no, that's okay. I can drink, sorry. Oh, no. What is it? You get Jack Daniels, and you can drink the fucking Jack, yeah. and take <laughs> the cotton picking 20. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> Take the 20, Juan! Take the 20! Put it out, I put water here, I can drink it. What's that? The water, put it out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, yeah, yeah. we're gonna switch cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, why'd you pour that up? Are you drinking yeah. this already? <laughs> this is fermented alcohol. There are so many beverages on the table here, I don't know what to do. I'm losing track of what's what. Juan, we're playing Russian roulette, you gotta drink something. Oh no, this one is out. That's, that's yours, drink that one. Yeah. I want, I'm pretty sure that has alcohol on Yeah, that's you, Juan. That had Jack in it, right? Yeah. Oh, for sure that had Jack in it. Jack Daniels, make yourself twenty dollars. Make yourself twenty dollars. Take a sip of this one, because it'll be really funny. Mm. <laughs> it's the fish is where he draws the line. God damn it! You keep that twenty, or I will beat the shit out of you. Okay? You've earned it. Thank you. He's all about respect at the end of the day. At Danny Mull on Instagram. Shoot me a message. I'll suck your dick tonight. Want a little whiskey, man? Here's a full one for you and yours. Got some whiskey down the throat. We cleared the fish water out too. We're with Comedy Central. We wanted to stop in, promote the restaurant. If you meet the condition of drinking a little bit of straight whiskey. Call the chef. Yeah, let's call the chef over here. Your name is Jeff? Yes. Chef Jeff? Yes. Yes. Chef oh, Jess. Chef Jess. Um, we are gonna drink some Jack Daniels with Chef Jeff. Jess. This no, is a place no, no. of business. Man. Sure, have, sure. You have, you have to come in with respect. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, no, I'd like to apologize you, to you, Gareth, right now. Definitely. And as well. I'd uh, like to apologize by offering you a shot of straight whiskey. 
<laughs> That's the best way. Bury the hatchet. <laughs> I don't. I don't drink that. You don't drink. I drink. I drink Hennessy. Oh, classy <laughs> guy. It's a little confusing. I all thought right, it was. All right, we're cool now. Well, what's your name? No, no one. Mom is Filipino. My grandmother. Let's talk to Chef Jess. On behalf of everybody at Comedy Central, I want to tell you to come down here to Pusina Filipina. Pusina Filipina. Okay. Pusina, not pussy. Not, not puss. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know how I roll, huh? Yeah. You know. <laughs> I want you to come down here to the pussy store right here in the middle of Eagle Rock. It's open from 10 to 10. Chef Jess is with me partying it up. And this waitress works here and is a real randy gal. Right, Chef Jess? Yep. Chef Jess, time to throw it back before you run that 12-hour shift. Come on down in Pusina, Filipino, Eagle Rock. Come to the pussy shop. <laughs> Sir, what do you say we take a drink to celebrate the great nation you have flying oh, from your car? I don't thank you. You sure? No, I don't know. It seems like the perfect time to take a celebratory drink. Long live uh, the Slovakia. Very good. Yeah. I'm Armenian. I was close. How's it going, guys? Anybody interested? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, boys. We're getting to that noontime dip. I know it's tough. This is what Jack Daniels represents. This is what it stands for. Family-run businesses that aren't afraid of having a good time. Rafael and Juan. Danny. You gonna take one with us? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. All the way. They breathalyze me when I get off my shift. Oh. Rafael, do you want to recycle it? <laughs> okay. Rafael, don't be a bitch. What's your name, man? Martin. Martin? No slacking today, Martin. <laughs> Shave some seconds off for me, okay? okay? I don't want you wasting any of Rafael or Juan's money. <sighs> He's the main boss. <laughs> oh, it's his business? I'm sorry about it. I didn't understand you were the boss. You were the boss. I thought you were one of the underlings. You're not the boss? No. Who is the boss? So I'm the boss? Yeah, oh. yeah, you feel a little different walking around here now. Maria, clock out early, you're fired. Hmm. Chaser? Chaser? Thank you so much, guys. We're out of here. You were awesome. Hey, hey, enjoy that drink. And if you guys want any Jack Daniels, yeah. wash down this. What are you guys eating? Jack in the box. Wash down the fucking Jack in the box with some Jack in the bottle. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. Sir, were you, you were listening to Mariah Carey Butterfly. Yes. What are you watching right now? Mariah Carey. Fantasy by Mariah Carey. Yeah. Which album was this off of again? Oh, it's uh, tip of my West tongue. Side. That's the best of her work. What do you say to salute Mariah? You take a little swig of this. Listen to Butterfly, people. Pitchfork Music gave it a nine out of 10. One of the most important albums of 2002. What's your name, man? Dennis. One of the most important men on the streets of Eagle Rock. He, you know he loves Mariah Carey? I didn't know that. Yeah, he probably tells you, uh, I listen to only Metallica, and sometimes I listen to a little bit of Slayer. That's all I listen to. But really, you're jamming the Mandy Moore, the Mariah, and the Beyonce. You're a big pussycat. You bad, you bad. You're a big pussy. He says it's because he wants to fuck her. He actually enjoys the melody. <laughs> all right. Who's drinking Jack Daniels? Here you go. No, I don't drink Jack Daniels. Oh, you don't drink Jack? She just called me over. She never drinks. I drink, but not here. Pretend this <laughs> is a nice mahogany bar, and this uh -huh. is a crystal tumbler. Right. <laughs> no, thanks. Kahuna! I can't. Can you come take this shot? It'll be funny. I poured it into the... I thought it was real clever. See what I did? Strong. You're a good man. Congratulations. I never seen such a strong man like you. Eh? <laughs> Sir, take a swig of this whiskey before I lose my fucking mind. I don't drink. Oh, no problem. Yeah. In that case, you have a great day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Miss, take a swig of this fucking whiskey before I start tap dancing. What's up, man? Do you want some whiskey? Jack Daniels? You're looking good. Thanks, man. Thanks. You put time into Thanks. this outfit. I mean, I guess. Do your socks match? Uh, I mean, I don't know if the socks match. Yours? Nope. Uh, yeah. I 
mean, they're white. Shoes are white. We're white. It's pretty good. Yeah, we're white. Everything's all right. I guess so. Yeah, Though this would be the alcohol of a white supremacist. Uh, yeah, it kind of would. Jim Beam, actually, probably, because they don't make a lot of money. The most a white supremacist can hope for is to be like an auto mechanic who runs his own business. It's, you can't ascend through corporate America as a white supremacist, can you? Is that what you say? I think so. Think about it. It'd be pretty tough. I mean, you just got to play it low. There's so many things that are, that are code for white supremacy. What's one? Home sell for more if the, home, if the homeowner is a, is a white person compared to a, a person of color. Yeah, but I guess if a white person owned your home before you, you know there'll be no malt liquor stains on the carpet. Ouch. Ouch, what the fuck are you guys doing here? What is the point of all this? That was a joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a bad joke. No, it's all good. <laughs> I mean, I guess I, I gotta drink this Jack Daniels. You gotta drink the Jack Daniels. All right. Hey guys, just checking in to ask if A, you would like this video, it really helps with its performance, and B, just checking to see if you'd be interested in subscribing on Patreon. We go out shooting for two days, get way too much footage to use on YouTube, and we have 30 to 40 extra minutes every week of really good stuff that's on Patreon exclusively. Thank you. One of the things I love about Los Angeles is the proximity of new and old. Humphrey Bogart's mansion is now being lived in by Taylor Swift. A 50,000-year-old mammoth fossil is just a couple of blocks away from where Miley Cyrus is getting gangbanged. Only in Los Angeles, baby. And today, we're gonna learn a little more about this city's ancient past. So this is a dire wolf. They look like something a princess would have to run from in a Disney cartoon. And I think because they look so evil, the museum feels fine about doing something like this, lining their heads up like Jordans in a footlocker. <laughs> it's messed up, huh? Because they are the meanest, right? In the animal community, the wolves are like mean and I think terrible. Amongst yeah, they're they like to wear leather jackets and they smoke cheap cigarettes. Oh, they're the they are the bad ones. They'll hold you up for your change. <laughs> you know what the word anthropomorphic means? Yeah. What does it mean, Dino? Human-like? Exactly! People think he's a real dum-dum, but occasionally this guy comes through with the definition. It looks like an algebra teacher who hates all the cool kids in his class. Chet, quit tossing around that football! Brittany, if you keep texting and don't learn, you're gonna end up pregnant! This is further proof that we as a species can do whatever we want to dire wolves. We've lopped off one of their penises and put it on display in a museum. Quit pretending you're not good at that. So a lot of people are surprised when they come to the La Brea Tar Pits Museum and they see all women working in this area. The truth is the real science is being done behind the scenes by the men. These women here are not looking through microscopes. They are actually looking through kaleidoscopes. This is Tiffany. She recently totaled her minivan while trying to read Fifty Shades of Grey in traffic. This is Sadie. She's 32 years old and still has My Little Pony wallpaper in her bedroom. This is Becky. Just one week ago, Becky had an abortion. This was a perfectly mummified, fleshy, muscle tissue preserved mammoth specimen. And it's led to the question of, sir, you might be interested in this too, whether or not it is ethical or whether or not it is scientifically feasible to revive a woolly mammoth, is it? And the Catholic Church says no. Science says it might be dicey because how are we gonna keep it company? How are we gonna feed it? And when it comes to reviving woolly mammoths, it's actually not a moral or an ethical or scientific issue. It's really just practical because when you're reviving a woolly mammoth, the tricky part is getting her fat, hungover body out the door before your roommates wake up. We got a nod. You don't want to hear what I just said. <laughs> I, it was nonsense. <laughs> that wasn't a bad little round of vlog footage, huh? Now it's just time for you to become part of the museum. <laughs> it's funny you mention that, Asti. What am I promising to the audience right now? <sighs> that I'm going to be in that tar pit in 24 hours time. I'm going to in the name of journalism, but I don't have to. I want you guys to know that.
It's called sacrifice. Sacrifice. Define sacrifice, Dino. Uh, giving up something for the greater good. Yeah! Dino has been desperate to draw a nude female model. I can't, you know, uh, draw the female form unless I see boobies. <laughs> the good guy I am, I spent $100 to get a female model over here who's willing to take her top off. Nope. She's gonna step behind a curtain, mm -hmm. presumably to get naked. Somebody's gonna get naked behind this curtain, but it's not gonna be the girl. He's one of you two, and he's not white. Ooh. Nah, not happening. That, that was delayed. It took a second yeah. for Casper to work that out. <laughs> Some BBC, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, because I've already drained my pipes, so it's going to be... Look at this little so fucking puny thing right here. Is this, this isn't about being cool or having the biggest thing, dick. Dude. Actually, mine's probably bigger than that right now. Well, actually. you're black. I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, you've been yelling about your BBC all over Honestly, our national parks. I have a BBC. This is the lovely Leslie. She's our model for the day. Yes, Leslie. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you, Leslie. <laughs> Casey, King Croc, BBC. We have a boy named Dino who's a member of our squad. Okay. He's 18, so there's not going to be anything criminal going on. This is what we know about Dino Schlosser. On this side, we have wants to be a artist. I know that's not grammatically correct, but I decided to do it anyway. All right, so here we have Apprentice Dino's. That is Dino's print. What else do we know about Dino? Homophobe. <laughs> Isn't that great, Dino? You're gonna learn right now. <laughs> right here is what happens right here. Let's go retrieve the lad. Let's do it. Can we apply some of your Brooks painting effects to that shot right there? Oh, absolutely, man. I'll, I'll do whatever you want there, yeah. You want me to put some, like, paint, like a paint transition? Like, yeah. If we send you that raw MP4 yeah. file, you can have it doctored up and returned by Thursday? Easily, yeah. Let's do it. We're picking up Dino right now. We told him we were going to be 10 minutes. I think it's been more like an hour and 30 minutes. Are you on the phone or are you rapping to yourself? Why were your lips moving? Get in the car. I've been walking up and down the street stealing people's fruit. Anything ripe? Uh, some peaches. I ate like seven of them. This is gonna be one of the better days of your life, Dino. That's all I'm gonna say. You're trying to be an artist. I think it's a pipe dream. I think you're wasting your, I'm not gonna say talent because there's not much of that already there, but I think you should do something more practical with your life. But everybody else seems to think your paintings and drawings are pretty all right. So we're rewarding you. Should be up here on the right, the fruit tree. There it is. I didn't give you permission to walk this far away from the park. Mmm. I'm surprised you were able to do something as productive as finding a ripe peach tree. Dino, you are one lucky, lucky little boy. Hi, Leslie. Leslie, nice I'm Dino. Nice to meet you. Can nice I give you, you a hug? Because yeah. I'm kind of a hugger, but I didn't know if that was okay. <laughs> I don't care. Not only has Leslie agreed to model for you today, we showed her your photos, and she personally finds you attractive. Wow. Like many women. <laughs> what do you think about his unkempt facial hair? I'm actually into it. What do you think about his um, spina bifida posture? Oh, my posture? It's pretty good. I was asking Leslie, not you. <laughs> What do you think about his fear of making eye contact with you? Well, it's a, I mean, yeah, right here, right here. Come over here before disrobing. Of course. And, all right, so. This is what's going on in Dino's pants right now. <laughs> <laughs> Using the thumb, in comparison to her head, you can measure other parts of her body up from her head down to her breast. Think she's about three thumbs high or a C cup. Okay, well. <laughs> Actually, really cracked. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> all right, go ahead and disrupt. Dino! I'm kind of. Dino. He's getting all cocky. He just made a D's nuts right. joke to me. Cool. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not drawing that shit. <laughs> hey, that is a fucking BBC, baby. 
That is a fucking PVC. Right, 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 that, you know, that is a fucking. Right here, dude. You know, hey, I'm kicking you were lying, dude. That is a BBC. <laughs> Start drawing right now, Dino. I swear to God, draw. Just when I was thinking the stereotype wasn't true. I literally can't even look at this to draw it, bro. I can't. You know, draw it right now. God. Now this, this is art. It's it's working. Dude, you're getting it. It's working. It's leaking. Oh! It's just like you, honestly. He went at it yeah. with poise, with grace, and I think he did a great job. This is an incredible interpretation. Gino, I said it's an A+. Plus. I think he's earned himself. <laughs> A better looking subject to paint. Dino, get over here. Okay. Dino, stand beside yeah. her or she disrobes. You've earned it. <laughs> it's the facial hair. That's, that's what's getting me. Oh, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> I think if we did it outside, they would probably be a little bit harder. You made her shoulders a little bit too broad yeah. here. You're too used to doing man shoulders. You need to focus on having I've them, never drawn women yeah, shoulders. Having them come in down like that. <laughs> Why'd you yeah, broaden yeah. her shoulders so much, Dino? I noticed you came over and grabbed his wrist when he started drawing a mustache. <laughs> this is what Dino wanted to draw. <laughs> a cock's not really on center, is it? It's a really skinny cock. Yeah, what are those it's long. It's like a dire wolf cock, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Toss this on. <laughs> Damn, oh, Dino. That's so awesome. Oh, Proud yeah. big brother moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a text while we were in Eagle Rock filming that last little segment. I heard King Croc has a new nickname for himself. I got angry when I saw it. Really? I got fucking angry. I love it. Say it into the camera. He's the pussy shadow. He's the pussy shadow? Makes it sound like a large body of people have taken a vote on that name. He's on his way. Yeah. I think he might even be smoking a cigarette out front. We gotta get his ass in here and figure out what this nonsense is. King Croc, <laughs> we gotta talk to you about your new nickname. <laughs> what is that shirt you're wearing? <laughs> hey, did you just really drop a cigarette? You're gonna get that on the way out, right? Definitely gonna get that. Okay, cool, cool. You were talking to my roommate's girlfriend. What were you saying, King Croc? Yeah, so you heard you know his uh, girlfriend. Nice to meet you. Did you say, can I meet you real no, quick? I, say, yeah. I hear you're calling yourself the Pussy Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be known. Right? There's a lot of boyfriends, there's a lot of husbands, there's a lot of hater players. Mm -hmm. You know, player haters. Mm -hmm. I just want to be under the shadow where mm -hmm. no one knows. Mm -hmm. So I thought, pussy, shadow. Mm -hmm. You don't see me, I'm black as fuck. Okay. Yeah. So you can be in a married woman's house, in her bedroom, fucking her, and then out the door and gone. And nobody no will evidence. Know. Nobody's gonna know. She's sure. not a mandingo fucker. Sure, sure. She's sure. a normal bed. <laughs> I'm starting to like this now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now that you're the pussy shadow, you're a different person than you were when you were King Croc. King Croc got pussy. Yeah. I don't know about the pussy shadow. I guess we'll have to see, right? Pussy shadow! We're gonna get a clipboard though. We're gonna play around with this I can't breathe shirt. So what's the plan, King Croc? I have a list to sign people up. Only people who really care about black lives. <laughs> They've got to put their number down on this sheet. Their phone number? Yeah. See, he's yeah, trying to yeah. close sets. Okay. Go up, introduce yourself as the pussy shadow, talk about social justice for five seconds, and then just start hitting on the girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I think the pussy shadow is gonna need all the encouragement he could get. So if you want him to succeed in his pickup, go down to the like button, click on it, and that's all you have to do. You do that, and I'm satisfied. And so is the pussy shadow. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, I'm doing a little survey with my buddy here just about some social issues we're having right now. Would you guys like to sign up to support any needs the black community is having right now? You care about black lives, right? I'm sorry, I should introduce myself. What's your name? Amy. Amy, my name's the pussy shadow. You're the pussy shadow. The pussy shadow, what's your name? Corey, but I'm day. taken away by the pussy shadow. <laughs> Wait, what's going on with the pussy shadow? We really need people to start thinking about this. So we came out here and we said, who cares about black lives right now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you heard of George Floyd? Of you knew what happened to him, right? So what are you doing later tonight? What was your number again? What's my number? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying, yeah. let's go out later today and discuss, you know. What's your number? 
No, no, seriously, this is a good cause. It's a good cause, the Pussy Shadow. Okay, it's 314. Maybe I'll invite you out later next week. We'll talk about what really matters in this country. You know, the, the people who are affected by this. Yeah, I, Can I get down your number? Was that 310 or 3? No. You care about black lives, right? Yeah, I... You're, you're not a bigot, are you? Of course not. Of course not. So what, what was your number? Yeah, that's not happening, but good try. How about you follow me? Take your phone out. Yeah, go ahead. But if I don't like you, I'm gonna follow you. Just block me. If you don't like the shadow, just go ahead and block it. I can't find my Instagram. You probably blocked me already. You heard legends of the pussy shadow. The amphitheater that we sold out our podcast show at. It looks like a really low level stand up comedy open mic park setup right now. But it's open, there's no bouncer. What are we gonna do? Do we go over there and stage some sort of social awareness thing where we get King Croc on the fucking mic and we all do black power? Hmm, I like that. You have to do something like that. Okay. Is that speaker working? Oh, yes. Do we have permission to do the, uh, to do black power? Yeah, I mean permit, go ahead. I'm not the one that's gonna come after you. People will come after you for doing black power? Mm -mm. No, they oh. can't. Then they're racist. This is all so confusing. I need to courage it. Yeah. I just watched Bridge Too Far, World War II movie. Yeah. Everybody just has a cigar Shoot Shoot chopped. Them. Because they have to Munching. go out and do battle. They so do we. Yeah, we do. I'm about to go into a fucking tar pit. Yeah. Yeah. This is considered the more mild thing we're doing this afternoon. Facts. Let's go. Thanks. It's, it's not that bad though. Like, I, there are benefits to being Asian, they say. I don't know what they are. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, the pussy shadow is here <laughs> to talk about what really matters. There's a lot of racists in this crowd, right? I got one guy with me. Everybody else here is a racist, it seems like. Wait, we can say two people aren't racist. Him, he just said he was Asian in the mic, and that guy up there. We got two non-racists in the crowd. So I'm here as the pussy shadow to talk about one thing. Blacks, it's only two of us here. If you care about black lives. You don't give a shit about black lives. Not today. Why is he smiling at you? Because he's with the pussy shadow, buddy. Do you see my shirt? Racist. This Jew is a racist right here. Fucking racist. Just because you got home court advantage, baby, we're not intimidated. Come on, boys. Come on. Dog man, what do you have to say? Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hey, everybody calm down. This guy's a fucking big guy. First of all, it doesn't matter. I don't know if he's really Asian or not. <laughs> Is he actually Asian? I'm not gonna fight with you. No, no, what? He doesn't respect COVID, he doesn't respect black lives. I'm not sure. Guys, hold guys, on. Get Please. Out of here. Don't What's the issue? What's the Take issue? Some time. This guy's racist. Sorry, guys. Just, are you guys all right? No, no, you guys seem great. I love you. Can he just have one last message he delivers into the mic? He can do that once I'm finished my set. We can respect the rules. I'm sure you're a good comedian today. You were sort of bombing today. Just pass off the mic to somebody who's not bombing. He wasn't having a good set, man. It's, it was dead air. I heard it the whole time I walked. Up. Who are you? Are you Bob Hope? You're doing a park open mic. Is that all? Who are you? Are you Bob Hope? You're doing a park book show. Pussy Shadow, take your friends and go. Bye, guys. Hey, the Pussy Shadow's gonna cast a shadow over your wife's pussy, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Right. Okay. Carol, right? It was nice meeting you, Carol. The Pussy Shadow won this round, Bob. Let it go. Let it go. Right. You have a good one. I think your wife does too. Thanks. <laughs> that guy got pissed. <laughs> I love a Danny Mullen video Woo! with a message. It's a real message. That was a right powerful there. message. We took a stand against what was wrong. Exactly. Yeah. And what was wrong was that racist crowd, except for the Asian guy who was bombing yeah. mm -hmm. and the black dude in the back who loved it, by the way. He was fucking dying. <laughs> he started it. filming he it. Was. He and then Carol, too. Yeah, I'll, the little lady oh, yeah, wasn't racist. That was the spark I needed to hit this goddamn tar pit. I'm gonna get the wetsuit on, I'm gonna get my swim cap on and my nose plug so I don't want any tar in the nasal cavities. You guys are gonna fucking surround this place, two cameras, everybody else phones, and I'm just gonna go over the side of the bridge. Who's the uh, rope holder? I don't think we're gonna have a rope, Nico. Danny. It's gonna be so hard to get a rope right now. It'll be all right. Okay. Probably. Danny, you're good, dude. This is where I'm gonna go in. Mm. Nico, I want you to be like right over here 
And then everybody else, like Croc can be here, Kahuna can be over here, Cigar Guy with me here. Was he? Hey, once again, for the tar pit going in, like the video. Yeah, like it, and subs I like subscribing too sometimes when I see a good video. Subscribing's kinda lame. Not when it's to you, big boy. Ah. Same shit like firefighters and Solid, man. It's about to go down. Yeah! The thing I'm worried about, I have to run and dive out onto the water, and I'm a little nervous that my tube is gonna land smack on a woolly <laughs> mammoth tusk and pop, and then I'm gonna go belly down into tar and die. That'd be good content, though. What the fuck is that guy doing? It's ridiculous, bro. Yeah, it was pretty legendary. Yeah, it was legendary, that's for sure. <laughs> what was that guy doing, man? I have no idea, don't record me, please. Did he jump in the lake? What's your name? I'm Laura. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm Laura. It's very nice to meet you. My name's a Pussy Shadow. My man, you did it! <laughs> you crushed that shit, my man. Damn, you're covered in tar, Jack. Not too covered. Just a little bit on the hands. They were tripping, huh? They got the place, yeah. They were like trying to figure out. They'd realize who Nico was. It was crazy. Did you tell like the cops were coming? Yeah, for sure. Dude, Danny, I was legitimately spooked. We had a whole beef about it. You were hitting on chicks, King Croc. Yeah. You had a one fucking job, and you were still hitting on chicks as you did it. <laughs> yeah. I saw the lead. I mean, she was on the chubbier side, but I closed the deal. Dude, you're not supposed to be chasing leads while I'm in the tar pits. <laughs> Yeah. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I got a nice shot though, dude. Yeah, I just hopefully we can see how many people ended up gathering against the feds. There were a lot. 